we have the story of Stanwell on the new mural. Wow, that is um, hopefully they will um, people will go by there and realise it's for everyone. If everybody looks on that, they can see something that's happened in their childhood or even not in their adulthood. Stanwell is my home. You know that funny little hut at the end of the runway when you take off from Heathrow? I live there. I was born in Stanwell Village, opposite the Five Bells, um, in uh, 1913, 8th of August. One big family from one end of Stanwell to the other. We had bendy toys at one time. We, the kids, us kids used to paint the big bits, like if it was Noddy's hat or his jacket, they were quite big bits to paint. And it used to go down the line. My brother used to get the bell because he was older than us and he could paint a little bit better. Henry VIII was advised to get rid of places miles away where he couldn't keep an eye on what people were up to and what they were doing with his land and taxes and things like that. So he actually came to Stanwell, invited himself to a banquet just before Christmas and he sat there and he said, I like this place so much I shall have it. Being born in a tent house and now I went to see the first ones being pulled down. Very bit distressing and brings back a lot of memories. Um, but obviously it's got to be done. Everybody looks to the future. When I see that being pulled down, memories do come back. But they'll always be there. It's going to be tough to get through the regeneration. It's hard to let go of the past. And it needs to happen. It needs to be regenerated. And the community will rebuild. It will knit together. It's not my generation they, they've got to get it right for. It's for the next generation, my grandchildren's generation. It's got to be right for, because the new houses that they're building have got to be there for them. The job for the beavers and the cubs and the leaders was to take these animals and photograph them as many places as possible in Stanwell. They made a beautiful scene and there were animals in there. And it was just this landscape and all of the different items that the children had done all pulled together and put onto the background that we had made. And it was just amazing. And the children had so much pride and said, I did that, that was my work. A lot of children or youngsters will have to ask questions. But I think a lot of old people stand on when they say it would recognise. It's got not just the young involved, it's got the elderly involved. And it's, and it's still their village, and it's still, it is still Stanwell. Um, and old and young have, have been mixed together, which I think is good. And you've got memories of years ago, and you've also got what they'd like in the future as well. Mural's brilliant, I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's, it's got everything you can think of of Stanwell in it. Everything on Stanwell has got something on there. Absolutely brilliant, spot on. Of the old Stanwell, integrating everything. Uh, the gates of the manor house, uh, which was the king of uh, Iraq's old house, uh, where my aunt worked. Well, and you've got the history there of Henry VIII and Guy Fawkes. You know, Lord Nevitt arrested Guy Fawkes and Lord Nevitt, Nevitt is, is resting at peace in St Mary's Church. I loved my lizard. The artist that done it, it's great. I think they made a beautiful job at The history of Stanwell again. It's bringing people together. They'll say, well, of course, my friend's in the WI, or my friend's in the sky. Oh, so is my friend. And the children will just fall into this storyland and the pictures come alive in their head when someone has lived it and has seen it and they tell you the story there's a sparkle in their eye and a glint and they bring the whole thing to life